Chapter 8 Teeth and the Digestive System The more yes you scored, the more you are taking care of your teeth and digestive system. Let us learn about these body parts and their functions. Teeth We use our teeth to bite and chew food. This helps us to digest it properly. Human beings have two sets of teeth through their life. Milk or baby teeth. When a baby is born, he or she has no tooth. Teeth begin to appear when a child is about 6 months old. By the age of 2 to 3 years, a child has a set of 20 teeth. These are called milk teeth. Permanent or adult teeth. When a child reaches the age of 6, his or her milk teeth start falling out one by one and larger ones take their place. These are called permanent teeth. Types of teeth According to their functions, teeth are classified into incisors, canines, premolars and molars. Incisors These are shaped like tiny kaisels with flat and sharp ends. They are used for cutting and chopping food. We have eight incisors in all with four in each jaw. Canines the pointy and sharp teeth beside the incisors are called canine teeth. They help to tear food. We have four canines, two in each jaw. Premolars. Next to canine teeth are premolars. We have eight premolars in all. Four on each jaw. Premolars are bigger, stronger and have ridges which make them perfect for crushing and grinding food. Molars. We have 12 of these, 6 on the upper jaw and 6 on the lower jaw. Molars are even wider and stronger than premolars and they have more ridges. They help to grind the food into a paste. Parts of a tooth Each tooth has a crown and a root. The part of a tooth above the gum is called crown and the part inside the gum is called the root. The crown of each tooth is covered with a hard protective layer called enamel. It is the hardest substance in our body. Underneath the enamel is dentin, which is not as tough as enamel. It is sensitive to cold and heat. Underneath the dentin is the soft innermost part of the tooth called the pulp. Inside the pulp lie each tooth's nerve endings. These tell us when our teeth are hurting. For example, when we eat frozen ice cream. The pulp also contains blood vessels which feed our teeth and keep them alive. If we follow the dentin and the pulp of a tooth all the way down beneath the gum, we will find the tooth root. The root holds the tooth strongly to the gums. Taking care of the teeth Taking care of the teeth helps prevent plaque which is a yellowish substance that sticks to our teeth. It is produced by bacteria present near the teeth. After we eat, bacteria attack the sugar and food crumbs on our teeth. This results in the formation of substances that eat away tooth enamel, causing holes called cavities. Plaque also causes gum disease that can make our gums red, swollen and sore. Steps to having healthy teeth Brushing teeth at least twice a day before breakfast and bedtime is important. It is also good to brush after eating something sweet and sticky. Brushing properly breaks down plaque. It is important to brush properly. We need to brush all of our teeth, not just the ones in the front. The teeth along the sides and in the back also need a good amount of brushing. It is important to slip the dental floss between each tooth. The floss gets rid of food scrape that are hidden where the toothbrush can't reach. We should be careful not to damage our gums while brushing. It is good to spend at least 2-3 to three minutes each time we brush. Be sure your toothbrush has soft bristles. The package will tell you if they are soft. Change your toothbrush every 3 months. Calcium is the mineral that makes our teeth strong. We get calcium from milk 
and milk products, such as curd and cheese. Fruits and salads also keep the teeth healthy. We should visit the dentist regularly, every 6 to 12 months. Sometimes the dentist advises wearing an appliance that presses on crude teeth so that they gradually become more even. These are called teeth braces. The digestive system. Food gives us energy, another essential nutrient needed by our body to function properly. But our body cannot use the food as it is. It needs to be converted into simpler substances that the body can use. The process through which the food we eat gets converted into simpler form which the body can absorb is called digestion. Several organs work together to complete the process of digestion. These organs together form the digestive system. Each organ of the digestive system has a specific job to do. The process of digestion. Healthy eating digestion habit. Digestion begins in the we mouth. We should develop the, the following in habits the food to help our digestive the system mixes the food properly. With saliva. This will keep the body saliva fit and is healthy. A digestive juice Wash hands properly the before gland. and after eating. The food Never in the mouth any gets other work softened while so that eating. it can be Take swallowed small easily. Bite. Eat the slowly. Food Chewing the food into properly the of figures, before it is swallowing it. Through which food passes Do not from the food mouth with to water the stomach. without chewing it the properly. The stomach is a sack-like organ good amount that of creases and the breaks diet. the food into Grubbage which are small fiber particles. helps to keep the digestive from the system stomach, the healthy. Food passes into Health. the small intestine. The broken down food particles healthy are absorbed eating habits. by the walls of the small intestine. The, the blood our carries this food to different parts of the body. This the undigested will keep the body fit and healthy. Moves to the large Wash hands intestine. properly. Water Before from this an undigested food never is do any other work and while the waste eating. product called Take pieces small is formed. Eat slowly. The liver works the food with the small intestine Before swallowing in the of digestion. Do not swallow the food with water juices without the help and digestion. Include good amount of the unwanted to the diet or pieces Ruffage is or fiber out helps of the to body keep the digestive anus. Healthy eating habits. Healthy eating habits. We should develop the following we develop habits, the following to, help habits our to help our digestive work system properly. work properly. This will keep the body, this will fit, keep the and body fit and healthy. Wash hands properly Wash hands before, with soap. And, after before and after eating. Never do any other Never work, do any while, other work eating. while eating. Small bite. Small eat bite. slowly. Eat chewing slowly. The food properly. Chewing the food properly. Before swallowing it. Before swallowing it. Do not swallow food do not with swallow water food without with chewing water it properly. Without chewing it Include properly. good amount of rubbish to the diet. To the diet. Our fiber helps to keep the digestive system healthy. Have plenty of water.